The class 390 pendolino, meaning pendulum in Italian, is a type of electric high-speed train operated by Virgin Trains in the United Kingdom. They are electrical multiple units using Fiat Ferroviaria's tilting train pendolino technology and built by Alstom for operation on the West Coast Main Line. The Class 390 is one of the fastest electrical multiple units operating in Britain, with a design speed of 140 miles an hour, 220 kilometers an hour. However, the West Coast Main Line modernization program, which was an upgrade to the infrastructure to allow faster line speeds up to 140 miles an hour, ran over budget. Consequently, plans were scaled back which resulted in the maximum line speed being restricted to 125 miles an hour or 200 kilometers an hour. In 1997, Virgin Rail Group commenced operating the Intercity West Coast franchise with a commitment to replace the exi existing British Rail Class 86, 87 and 90 electric locomotives and the Mark II and Mark III coaching stock with tilting trains. Tilting trains were not new on the West Coast Main Line. Twenty years previously, British Rail had developed the revolutionary, but ultimately unsuccessful, Class 370 Advanced Passenger Train, or APT. We will be doing a video on the Advanced Passenger Train later. The tilting mechanism in the Pendolino uses two electromechanical actuators per car to achieve the desired tilting angle on curved stretches of the track. The train can tilt to a maximum of 8 degrees, at which point one side of the train cabin is 380 millimetres higher above the track than the other. There have been 57 Class 390 Pendolinos built, made up of 22 9-car units and 35 11-car units. The 11-car units have 7 motor cars and 4 trailer cars, while the 9-car units have 6 motor cars and 3 trailer cars. Each motor is powered by two Alstom Onyx 800 traction motors. Each traction motor gives a power output of 425 kilowatts or, if you prefer, 570 brake horsepower. The units incorporate a number of innovations, including a walk-in shop in place of the traditional buffet restaurant car and extensive passenger visual information systems on the inside of the car ends and on the outside of the doors. Following criticisms of the pressure-operated automatic gangway doors, of the older Mark III and Mark IV carriages, which could easily be held open by items of luggage resting on the floor sensor, which allowed drafts into the passenger saloon, the gangway doors on the Class 390 sets are of the push-button, open-on-demand type. All seats originally had an onboard entertainment system with a number of pre-recorded music channels. This feature was disabled in March 2010 to make way for new onboard Wi-Fi provided by T-Mobile. Each seating row has a dot matrix LCD display to indicate the reservation status of each seat, removing the need for conventional printed labels inserted manually by train crew. The coaches also incorporate steps which automatically extend to platform level when the doors are opened. This feature was first seen on the APTP, which was mentioned above, and it's a distant ancestor of the Pendolino. The windows are also fitted with roll-down blinds. The fleet was introduced into passenger service from Birmingham International to Manchester Piccadilly on the 23rd of July 2002 to coincide with the opening of the 2002 Commonwealth Games in Manchester. During the Games, they operated a daily return service between the two cities, but it wasn't until the 27th of January 2003 
that the first Pendolino carried passengers between Manchester Piccadilly and London Euston. They were soon introduced on routes from London to Liverpool Lime Street, Birmingham New Street, Wolverhampton and Preston. And by the late 2003, the last of the elderly Class 86 locomotives had been fully withdrawn. In 2004, the unit started to operate services to Glasgow Central. And by the end of summer, all services north of Preston were worked by Class 390 units. This allowed the final Class 90 locomotives to be withdrawn. It was expected that all locomotive haul trains would have been replaced by the end of 2004. But the Pendolinos suffered from several technical problems, which granted the Class 87s a reprieve. By January 2005, only eight locomotives remained, for mainly use on peak London, Euston, Birmingham, New Street services. Virgin Trains has named its entire fleet. Most carry promotional names such as Virgin Valiant, Virgin Crusader and Virgin King. But some have received traditional names such as City of London and City of Liverpool. The entire Pendolino fleet is allocated to the Alstom Manchester Train Care Centre at Longsight where heavy maintenance is carried out. Longsight has a hoist on which an entire Pendolino set can be lifted. Lighter maintenance, cleaning and overnight stabling is carried out at Alstom's other centres. Wembley in London, Oxley in Wolverhampton, Edge Hill Liverpool and Palmerdy in Glasgow. On the 5th of April 2012, the 11 car Pendolino entered service on the London to Birmingham Wolverhampton and London Manchester routes. As a result of smaller cabin dimensions necessitated by the tilting geometry, higher floor needed to package the tilting mechanisms themselves and the need to provide disabled toilets, the units have a lower seating capacity than the Mark II and Mark III coaches they replaced. The result has been a severe overcrowding on some services, something which Virgin has somewhat mitigated through the increased frequency of service. The Pendolino has smaller sized windows, in fact the window size is unprecedented for British Railway rolling stock. The wider window pillars mean that some standard class seats are parallel with either no window or only a limited portion of one. However, the rollover strength of the body shell was commented on regarding the crash worthiness performance of the train in the accident report into the derailment at Greyrig, which we will be talking about later. In September 2006, the Pendolino set a new speed record, completing the 401 miles, 645 kilometers, of the West Coast Main Line from Glasgow Central to London Euston in 3 hours 55 minutes. This beat the 4 hour 14 minute record for the southbound run previously set in 1981 by its ancestor, British Rail's advanced passenger train. The APT does, however, retain the ultimate record for this route, having completed the northbound journey between London Euston and Glasgow Central in just 3 hours and 52 minutes in 1984, which included a 5 minute delay due to a signal fault. The Pendolino has had some incidents and accidents. In October 2004, a train overshot the platform at Liverpool Lime Street station and collided with the buffer stops. A similar incident occurred a few weeks later at the same station. The Rail Safety and Standards Board's inquiry into the incident identified a software glitch in the wheel slip protection system whereby the train's friction brakes were inhibited at low speeds after prolonged coasting, 
such as that occurred on approach to a station. The units were once again limited to 110 miles an hour or 180 kilometers an hour for a short period until modifications to the software were made. On the 23rd of February 2007, a faulty set of points caused the Virgin Trains Pendolino to derail near Greyrig in Cumbria. The train, Unit 390033, named City of Glasgow, formed the 1715 departure from London Euston bound for Glasgow's central station. 115 people were on board, one of whom died from trauma suffered in the crash. The train's excellent crashworthiness was accredited with preventing even more fatalities. The train was formally written off on the 30th of November 2007, owing to the prohibitive cost of repair against the price of a new set. A driving car and carriage from the train have subsequently been put into use for training purposes at the Virgin Trains Talent Academy in Crewe. Virgin Trains had to lease a Class 90 locomotive with Mark III coaches and a driving van trailer all painted in the Virgin's new livery and affectionately nicknamed the Pretendolino as a replacement for the written-off train. There are currently approximately 400 Pendolino trains operated by different train companies in 11 countries across Europe. And now on to the review. We simply love the Virgin Pendolino and have travelled on it many times. With Virgin Trains doing special offers, a single ticket from Glasgow Central to London Euston can be as little as £20. It is an amazing experience and thrills us each time we feel it tilt. We found the best route to feel the full effect of the tilt is between Carlisle and Glasgow, over Beatock Summit, as mentioned in the W. H. Jordan poem, Night Mail. The Pendolino is very comfortable with all mod cons, all that you need including at-seat plugs and Wi-Fi. The staff are always very friendly and extremely helpful. Although the trains have been in service since 2002, they are not yet looking old. Virgin trains are in the process of updating the East Coast mainline rolling stock with the new Azuma Class 800 so we are looking forward to seeing what new rolling stock will be coming to the West Coast Main Line. Hopefully a new generation of Pendolino. We will keep you posted. Until then, we will love using the Class 390 Pendolino. Well, thanks for watching. We will be doing many more videos, so if you like this one, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.